So we just did our horizontal stretch. Now we're going to do the we're going to do the vertical stretch right here. But that's the negative four. And let me get the right color pen. So we're going to do that negative four stretch. So this is going to be step three. Now the stretch is by negative four. So we're going to take all of our y coordinates and we're going to multiply them by negative four. The good news is there's only three y coordinates, one, zero, and negative one. Now when they get multiplied by negative four, the one is going to become negative four and negative one is going to become positive four and zero stays where it is. I'm going to need a little more vertical space here. So we'll start off with that left point. It doesn't go up to four, it goes down to negative four. Now zero is at pi. So the point pi zero, and then two pi negative one, two pi positive four. And then next up we have this point, three pi. Oh, I think I went over one too far. So it's two pi four, three pi zero, four pi negative four. Connect these all together. I really can't count. There we go. Now, as long as they're labeled correctly, uh, that'll be good. So we got negative four. Here we have positive four. All right, try to connect these with a smooth curve if you can. There we go. And writing down that function, this is y equals negative four cos one half x. All right, last step, we are going to apply the last transformation. Let's get a new, get that pink out. So that was three. So now we're on step four. This is the last transformation we're doing. <clears throat> we're going, that negative two is a shift down to. So we're going to take our y values, each y value, and shift them down two. It's going to go down two, down two, and zero is also going to go down two. I'm actually going to do step four directly under this graph here so that we have things lined up nicely. I'm going to need more negative y axis than I'm going to need positive. So the y values in here are two negative two and negative four minus two is negative six. I did this right underneath on purpose so I can just copy the x values two pi four pi we'll use the in-betweens right there negative four goes down to negative six and zero is at negative two now our point that was at y value positive four is at positive two negative two, negative six. Same curve drawn in. There we go. And we'll write out the full function here, negative two cos one half x minus two. All right, so that's our final graph right there. If this is a quiz, be smart to put a box around the final answer so it's really clear. Now we're going to graph a similar function, a cosine function, but we're going to do clearly there'll be a uh, period change here and a horizontal shift. So we have our general graphing form here on the right. This is super useful. The only two parts that we have are a w which is pi over four, but we got a problem because h is not pi. 
we have to factor first. So we'll do a tiny bit of algebra. And the algebra we're about to do, we're about to factor an a out of here. So this is a x plus. How do we factor a out if there's no a? You unmultiply by a, so that's the same as dividing by a. And it should be really clear if you distribute, you're going to be back on the left side. So that's the factor we're going to be using here. Let's go ahead and apply that. So we got pi over 4 times x minus pi divided by what we factored out, pi over 4. We do have a multi-story fraction here. And we're going to deal with that by multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's cos pi over 4 times x minus pi times 4 over pi. Pi's are going to cancel out. I am writing pi very ugly. I'm going to make this look a little nicer. OK, so here's our function. <clears throat> so this, our w is pi over 4. And we are using h for the horizontal shift. Now it looks like h is negative 4, but because it's x minus h, you can see that on the right side here is x minus h, h is actually positive 4. If you want to think back to pre-calculus shifting, x minus 4 means shift to the right 4. All right, so rewrite our original cosine graph. The standard y equals cos x. You should have this memorized soon. Starts at 1. We'll go 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. 2 pi is the standard period. There we go. All right, so you will have this memorized. Hopefully, right there. We're going to take this standard period and modify it by w. So our new period is 2 pi over w, which is 2 pi over pi over 4. Multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator, 2 pi times 4 over pi. Pi's cancel. 2 times 4 is 8. All right, so the period is 8. That may seem a little weird. Don't worry about it. If you notice, the period is not a multiple of pi, and the horizontal shift is also not a multiple of pi. So things will work out OK. So we're ready to take our original cosine graph, and we're applying our first, I think I labeled this as 1. So our second step is apply that stretch. So we're going to stretch it. So our period is now 8. Two, four, six, eight. And I'm just copying the 1, 0, negative 1, one uh, 0, 1 again, those five points. Because I chose, I'll make this a little bit bigger, made some choices here because this would be 2 to keep the scale the same. That would be 1 and negative 1. So I start at 1, then 0 at the quarter. Now my 4 is in the way. Get erase. My 4 is not erasing. No, partially erased. There we go. Negative 1, 0. 1, and now, all right, and writing down this equation that was cosine with that pi over 4 coefficient in front of x. All right, so that's our second step. Now the third step, and it's also the last step, is the horizontal shift right 4. So we're going to shift right 4. 
And ooh, that was not the color I wanted. So we're gonna go right four. That'll be our initial one y value. I'm gonna do the same two 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 over two 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 four six eight. 10, 12, I'll probably have to delete my eight. There we go. Zero, negative one, zero, one. Connect with a smooth curve. Maybe good idea to use pencil here for you make small mistakes you can erase, which I normally don't recommend, but here we're kind of, this is closer to art than math. All right, and we'll just write down our final Y over four, X minus four. All right, and you can check by plugging in any of these points here.